What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm. So I've already got the feed. We're gonna walk out here. I've got to talk to you guys about a project we're gonna be doing tomorrow. How to make a trip to the lumber yard and uh, pick up some two by fours. Now this project is the emu feeder that I've been talking about for a while now. And I'm trying to do it with most things that I already have here on the farm, like some scrap metal and stuff like that. Um, some posts. We're not gonna be doing it in this video, but I wanna go out here because we gotta go do some uh, scoping out and see where we're gonna put the emu feeder. I don't think the emus are gonna give us much input on where to put it, but uh, what is it? Uh, I'll help you, you got a hard hat, Dad? Give me a hard hat and a hammer. I can do anything construction-wise. He said, I'm just kidding, but I'm getting hungry. You want a shake? Huh? Are you wanting a shake? 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 What? You don't want to shake? Good boy. You gonna help me build that emmy feeder tomorrow? Huh? He said, okay, Dad. Shake. All right. So, uh, yeah, tomorrow's gonna be the day. Today would have been great, but I had to work. And uh, it's almost dark. That's the sunset behind me. So I'm trying to rush around and get my feeding done before it does get dark, do all my checkups. And we got some more baby goats. Some new baby goats you guys have not seen yet. Uh, we had another mama have some twins. And we'll see if we can't find them. They might be hiding somewhere. But uh, yeah, I'm bringing you guys along. We're gonna go out and look and see where the best spot is to put this emu feeder and we'll kind of talk about it a little bit. Yoshi? Hey. No? I said, we don't want to be on camera right now, please. Okay. We'll get them fed. Mojo, you gonna come eat? He says, shoot ya, I'm gonna come eat. Alright. Let me get the... Hey. hey, why are you biting me? She just bit my finger. I'm trying to open the gate, and the goats are standing on the gate, holding it down. Acting like they're starving, of course. Look at this. There's two babies. You guys watch those babies be born. That was the video I posted. And then there is a um, pull off, I think, is what Rachel is saying. Bear with me here. There's Miss Yone. Here, get your bite real quick. We're gonna work on a feeder for you. Hopefully we can get it done soon. There's Snowball, there's our baby. Cool. Okay, there's the two new babies right there. Here's the ones you guys seen born. Piggy. Here you go. Come on, Mo. He said, Oh, I'm so hungry, Dad. Can't wait any longer. Can't wait any longer. Starving. Check that food up there. Yes, I got your egg. Here. Fresh egg right there. There you go. Fresh egg. Eat up. Alright, so the new babies. These are the newest babies. These are both little boys. What you know, little little guy? Oh, too fast. Come here. Come here, let everybody take a good look of you. Come on. No? You don't want to be on camera? Here, I'll just zoom in then. So we got two new little boys. Rachel said they were little boys. I haven't checked. So I'll take her word on that. Um, they're a couple of days old. Two days old now. And you guys seen the video of these babies being born. They're doing well. And then uh, little Olaf is hiding under here. Hey, there's Olaf. Come here. Olaf, he's hiding. I can't even get to him. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that. These little babies are some playing babies. They run and jump and just have a uh, fun day all day long. Uh oh, they see the cat. Smeagol, you know what happens when you come in here with the baby goats, buddy. Probably not very smart. Yep. 
Uh oh, look. You better get away from those babies. So Smeagol knows. Smeagol just said, oh, these babies want to play with me and if the mama sees me, she's going to come get me. The mamas get very protected. That's that's Snowball right there. If Snowball sees Smeagol out here, she will chase him off because she sees the cat as a threat to her baby. There's a little, Sno There's a little Olaf right there. That's the little single. And uh, he's a cute looking goat. He's Snow White. Rachel named him Olaf. He said, y'all want to play? He's quite a bit bigger. He's a single, so of course he's going to be bigger. But, but yeah, all the babies so far so good. Um, I don't know if we're going to have any more over here right now or not. I don't think so. But stay tuned because you never know. Might have another surprise. Now they're all wanting to play together. All right, so let's get to business. Um, I'm burning daylight here and don't have much left. So we just um, put out some new hay bales a couple days ago. I didn't show that on video and I forgot to talk about it on the last video. But this time we're using the hay feeders. Um, you guys know once you get baby goats on the ground, they like to get around the hay bales. They like to sleep around them. They take naps around them and all that type of stuff. And if you guys caught the video, um, I did a few videos back. I couldn't find Cora and I was scared to death that she was next to the hay bale whenever it topped over, toppled over because what they do is the goats eat all the way around the bottom because they don't want to try to reach up so they're kind of lazy sometimes. They eat all the way around the bottom and that makes it top heavy and then it finally topples over and if a dog or a little goat is laying on that side or a big goat sometimes this can fall on them and it can suffocate them and i was freaking out because i couldn't find cora and she never disappears and that same day i noticed the hay bale being on the ground and i was like oh man that's not a good combination but luckily it didn't happen but uh that's where these hay feeders come in handy these elevated hay feeders they cut down on waste one but two they can eat all the way around this thing and it's not in any jeopardy of falling over it can't really go anywhere while it's in this hay feeder now that we got the babies hitting the ground over here and over in the big pen we're going to start just using the hay feeders again for now so anyways that's that now we got to find where we're going to put the emu feeder what are you doing smeagol man you going to help me put the emu feeder up huh you going to help me build it or what you the construction supervisor i don't think we'll get much done with you and mo you guys like to take too many naps all right, so I'm gonna throw up a picture right here. This is the emu feeder. I found this online and some people that uh, had this said that they really liked this kind of emu feeder. They had uh, tried several before and this one worked out the best. So this is the one we are going to try to kind of copy. I might make it a little bit different, but you guys get the concept. So you see how the posts are set in the ground. I'm not gonna concrete it in, but I am going to Get the backhoe and I'm going to try to dig a, a couple holes and set those posts in there for the base and then uh, we'll build the frame around the post. Um, you guys know how windy it can get here if you've watched this for very many videos. You know, one video might not be bad, but the next video sometimes we get 30 to 40 miles per hour wind up here. Um, we got, we're very high elevation and you can see right here, we don't have hardly any wind block coming from the south and that's where we get our strong winds most of the time. So it's important that wherever we put this feeder, we put the post in the ground so this thing don't go flying. Um, the kid's trampoline always goes flying. I finally had to tether it to a tree. We've, the chicken tractor, it's went flying. I mean, there's always, a lot of wind up here so i don't that's the last thing i want to have to worry about is an emu feeder because the roof is going to be metal and if that thing goes flying and hits one of the animals it probably will not be good and look at mr mo he's like oh i'm just a big puppy living my life i'm just enjoying life got my belly full now i'm gonna roll around in the goat poo because i'm a farm dog he has no idea we're watching him either does he Oh, there's a camera. Oh, uh, I wasn't doing that, Dad. I accidentally tripped. I wasn't being goofy, I promise. I'm always working. Smeagol, what are you doing, buddy? Smeagol. 
He said, what? Look at him. How'd you get up there? Huh? You're a show off on camera, aren't you? All a showing off. But anyways, um, so you guys see where the hay feeder is? This is pretty level right here and it's not too terribly rocky. Um, most areas up here, if you start digging, it gets really rocky. And um, you know, if we try to dig with the backhoe, we're just gonna make a big mess. We're gonna dig a bunch of rocks out of the ground, set posts in there, and then we're not gonna have any dirt or anything to fill back in with. Over here, we kind of had a pad here at one time and you know some of it's gravel it's, it was at one time pretty leveled out um, now the goats have been digging and stuff like that dogs but uh i think i want to put it up here i think i want to put the hay or the emu feeder right up here next to the hay feeder um for one is we got some more plans coming down the road hopefully over here in this pasture so we don't want the emu feeder to be in the way um you know, maybe we're gonna make it kind of temporary permanent. Um, we're gonna sink the post down in the ground, but we're not going to cement, it, cement them in because if we decide to move the emus from this pasture over to maybe where the donkey pasture is or something one day, then we can move the emu feeder, no problem. So we are gonna sink the post in the ground, but we're not gonna concrete it in right now anyways. But I'm thinking um, if we keep the emu feeder out of the way of you know, we don't want them out in the middle where the emus run, where the goats run. I don't want no one running into it. Um, you know, we got trees right here too. So it'll kind of be blocked from a little bit of the weather and uh, sunlight. Because the barrel I have that I'm going to try to use is a black barrel. And I know they can get a little bit hot in the summertime. So I don't know how that's going to affect the feed i don't think it's going to because it's going to be covered but we'll just have to play it by ear and in the summertime of course these trees have tons of leaves and provide shade so i think that'll be okay so that's what the next video hopefully is going to be it's supposed to be quite a bit cooler tomorrow it's going to be kind of cold and uh i think north wind so lord willing rachel and i are probably going to get out here and we're going to try to get that thing done because we got other projects that we got to do we got to get the dog pen ready um i know i talk a, talk a lot of stuff about a lot of stuff and we need to do this we need to do that but my problem is once i start a project i usually can't move on to another project until one's done because i just uh i don't know i sit there and think about it and i just want to get it done and uh sometimes at night i can't even sleep because i'm thinking hmm, what can i do next to that project what can i do blah 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 and then i just i want to get it done so i try to do one project at a time i try not to take on multiple things because i just can't deal with not having something done and then starting more stuff so we are going to try to tackle the emu feeder um we still got to try to uh get the dog whelping pen ready whatever you want to call it we're going to try to make a little place for the puppies whenever they get their eyes open and they start crawling and walking and all that where they can go outside and then eventually when they're a little bit bigger we'll try to introduce them with the goats but our goal is to keep Cora and uh, Liesky separated once she has the puppies for a little bit so I'm not going to get too much into that but that's some of the plans we got coming all right now we got to deal with these little guys too we got to get some more straw what are you eating on a leaf look at this little one eating a leaf does that taste good or what or you just got it stuck in your mouth oh no he's chewing on it he's like this is good mister Come here, Olaf. You want to be on camera? I'm not going to get you. Come here. Come on. Come here. I'm friendly, I promise. You look like a little uh, lamb. You know that? We used to raise sheep and this little white goat looks just like a little lamb. Well, there they go. Running around like teenagers. Skeeter wants to play with them. They're not even as big as Skeeter. <laughs> Skeeter, you're a good babysitter, buddy. Alright. So, I think I know that, that's, I'm pretty sure that's where we're going to put the emu feeder. Um, I just wanted to make sure that might work. I could have scooted the hay feeder over a little bit, but no big deal. And that way it's kind of out of the way. If we get a tractor in here or if we want to dig a pond at some time, we ain't, we ain't going to have to worry about moving it because it's nowhere where we would put a pond. 
So I think that'll work good. Mojo, what are you doing, bud? He's like, oh, I smell something over here, Dad. What do you smell, Mo? Just ball. The geese are being quite loud. All right. So, anyways, now you guys know what we're doing in the next video. So no surprises. Um, like I said, Lord willing, if the weather gets too crazy and it's super cold, we'll probably put that off a little bit. Um, you know, the emus are already about two years old. We haven't had a emu feeder yet. You know, we just fed them with our goats and the chickens for now. And they've done just fine. But like I said, it is about time for Yone, the girl emu, to start laying eggs. And we want her to be healthy and lay as many eggs as possible. So I want to try to get where she can eat as much layer feed as she wants. And, uh, you know, that might help her to lay the eggs and maybe even lay more eggs. And um, then we can maybe raise some more emus or do some trading. And uh, see if we can't grow our emu flock or our mob, whatever you want to call it. But uh, I don't think we got any more. There might be one more pregnant doe right there, uh, Cammie. Rachel thinks she might be pregnant, so she might be having babies any day as well so if you guys are not subscribed please subscribe and uh stay on that journey and in the big field where we're fixing to go feed we've got about 30 or so goats over there that are due to start having babies in less than a month so we're gonna have a baby goat overload and uh Bo is the dad to all these babies again this year so we'll see uh what the babies turn out last year we got tons of color and last year was the first year in like, I don't know, at least 10 years where we actually had more baby girls born than boys. So believe that or not, uh, for a long time, like 10 years, we had boys, boys, boys. Every year it was just mostly boys. And I can see the dogs are uh, patiently waiting again. Mr. Leesky and Cora absolutely love They got a king size bed right there. That hay bale that I set on the ground that the goats knocked over, that's their uh, bed. They love that thing. Um, today, temperatures hit like 65 degrees. It's not that cold outside. So uh, everybody's just been hanging around outside, sleeping outside and enjoying the weather. So I'm gonna grab some more food. We'll go check up on Cora and Leesky and uh, feed the goats and then go see the donkeys. All right, still got food. Still got quite a bit of food. We should have enough to make it till the uh, first of the year, I believe. And uh, here is that barrel that I was talking about. This barrel I used to use in the back of the Ranger to transport water in way down there at our hog pens before we ran the water line. And uh, that's the only plastic barrel I got that has the sealed lid on it. So that's what we're going to use. So the only thing I've had to buy so far is a few 2x4s. So I think we're doing pretty good. We can try to uh, make a cheap emu feeder. Try to save some money. Here's my score girl. She's a sweetheart. She's a sweetie girl. Yeah, there he is. There's a sweet girl. Yeah, you're pretty girl. Pretty girl. Alright chickens. Here. You can have a couple bites. Alright, let's see. Let me go feed your goats. Hey, Etta, what you doing, girl? What you doing, Etta? All right, here we go. Whoa, look at here. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. A little bit late. It's almost dark, I know. At least you guys got lights in the barn. Right? Your lights are kind of dim now. I need to change out your bulbs. Ooh, look at that sunset. Oh, I've got to get a, I've got to get a little bit of a better close-up of that. Look at that. Is that not pretty? That is a Oklahoma sunset. I'm pretty sure sunsets are uh, 
just as pretty just about anywhere in the United States or anywhere in the world for that matter. I just said Oklahoma because that's where we're at. How you doing, Cora? Huh? You feeling okay? Good girl. Huh. Um, I had some donkey food somewhere. And uh, guess what? I laid it down. So, let's go back to the shop. The girls are waiting on us. So yeah, that is a uh, very pretty sunset. I'm gonna say the prettiest sunset I've ever seen was probably at the beach. That's, it's hard to beat that. Just, I guess, uh, the time of the year, the weather, all that kind of comes into play. But uh, don't get me wrong, that is a beautiful sunset we got going down right now. So let me grab this food and we'll go, we'll go check on Coco and Ed of the mini donkeys. Come on, Skeet. You want to go feed the donkeys? Come on, Smeagol. Oh, there goes the mini donkey right there. Coco, Ed a girl. You guys are growing. Seems like you guys grown quite a bit already since we got you. Are you trying to talk? Coco's trying to talk. You hear her? I just said, leave me alone. She said, leave me alone, sister. Who wants a treat? Oh, yeah, Edda wants one. You guys got your ears pinned back? Huh? Here. Coco, good girl. Good girl. Both of you are pretty girls. So I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but it sure does look to me like they've grown quite a bit since we've got them. We've had them over a month now. And uh, they're growing a little bit. They're not going to be too much bigger than that, I don't think. She says, Mister, will you quit talking and just pour our food in there? So you can see the chicken on the ground. They're still not playing with it yet. That I've seen, anyway. Here. There you go. But we sure are enjoying the donkeys. And uh, I've learned to get back whenever she turns her rear to me like that. Because she has kicked me before. It didn't hurt much, but she will kick. I promise you that. So, uh, one day, I hope to build a donkey, a bigger donkey lean-to. You guys see the micro lean-to over here. They've been sleeping in it and it serves them well, but we are looking to get some more mini donkeys. So I've got another idea I want to share with you guys real quick. I won't, I'll try not to gab too long about this. I know you guys are probably ready for the video to end. But anyways, you guys remember the hog pen I built down there? The uh, hog shelter that has our uh, feed bin in it for the hog, the hog feeder? I'm trying to think of a way where I can use the tractor or tractors, we got two tractors, to move that hog pen shelter over here because it's a lot bigger. Um, it's big enough we can actually build stalls in it. I think it's 12 by 18. I can't remember for sure, but it's just like a lean to shelter. Um, right now, we're not currently using it, and I don't think we plan on raising very many hogs at a time like we did before. So, if we ever raise hogs again, we probably won't raise more than two at a time. So basically something like this, which this was what that originally was designed for, the little micro lean twos were for our hogs. We actually had several mama hogs that used those and it was plenty big enough for, for them and their babies. And like I said, it's plenty big enough for these donkeys now, but we want to kind of try to grow this herd. So we need a bigger shelter eventually. So I can't fit that shelter through the gate. So I'm trying to think of a way where I can use the tractor and uh, somehow use the loader to try to lift it up and over the fence. Um, I don't think it's possible with what I have now. I'm going to have to rig something up to make some kind of like long pallet forks or something like that. Um, yeah, I don't think it would work. And I don't want to tear it up and I don't want to tear the fence up. So. If all in all, if, if I'm not able to do it with anything that I can make or have around the farm, I'll probably just spend some time and build another shelter like that. And then if 
the hogs, if we ever get hogs again later on, we're, I'm getting hogs again, I just don't know when. They can just keep that shelter back there. But right now we don't need it back there because we got that lean-to, we got another little lean-to right there, that white one, that's a hog pen as well. So we have extra houses, we just would like to have a bigger one over here in this pen. So whenever I designed that gate and stuff, I didn't make it wide enough to try to get a shelter or anything in and out of there. I think the gates are 10 foot, but anyways, enough gabbing. That's, that's stuff to look forward to. Um, maybe we'll just have another project of building another lean-to, I don't know. Uh, like I said, materials are kind of high right now, so if I can repurpose that one, it would be better, but if not, no big deal. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for listening to me gab this evening. Um, like I said, the sun is going down. We got our feeding done. And I gotta go back and check everybody's waters and uh, just do some checks on the babies and stuff. I was trying to rush through in this video. Hey, Masetta. She said, you got any more treats in your pocket, mister? I don't, girl. I'm trying to cut down on how many I give you. Okay? I'm trying to cut down. Hey, Coco. You gonna say bye? Here, come say bye. Okay, guys, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Like this video and leave us a comment if you think I'm cute. All right? They leave a comment if you think I'm cute. You too, Edda. Give him kisses. Good girl.